What's going on guys, Nastra61 here, and today I want to make a commentary addressing all of the Rick Nash drama that's been happening lately. Just around the trade deadline, we found out Rick Nash actually went to Scott Housen, Blue Jackets GM, and asked for a trade. But there is more to this story, so I'm going to go into full detail about that, give all my opinions on it, and let's get this thing started. To begin, in mid-January, Rick Nash went to the Blue Jackets management uh, went to Mike Priest, the president, and GM Scott Housen, and basically demanded that they be fired because of how bad they've been doing and just what they've been doing with the team, uh, especially with this season. Obviously, it's not what anybody on the team wants. So Rick Nash just demanded change from the management. However, they did not do anything about it. That is when later he asked for a trade. However, all this was in a private conversation between them. It was not supposed to go public until recently after the trade deadline at the press conference for the Jackets. Scott Housen basically just threw Nash under the bus saying that he demanded a trade, even though that was obviously a private conversation between both of them. So now people are comparing Rick Nash to LeBron James, and that is absolutely ridiculous. They have no idea what they're talking about. LeBron was born and raised in Akron, right around the Cleveland area, and he was the king of Cleveland. He represented the city, and then he just suddenly got up and left to join his friends in Miami, hit clubs, go and partying, and that is a completely different situation than we have here in Columbus. Honestly, who would want to play for the Jackets at this point? They're absolutely terrible. Most of this can be blamed on the management. They've acquired players that are supposed to be good, Jeff Carter. He didn't even want to play for Columbus. He went into hiding for like two days when he found out he was coming here. So then we get him. We have to get rid of him right away, just not even a whole season's worth. We signed him to a huge contract, but we did get a good trade out of that. I'm happy we got Jack Johnson, so that's a plus, I guess. But still, you cannot just have that happening, and it's been absolute chaos since Housen's been GM. Think about it this way. Rick Nash has been playing with Columbus his whole career. He's never won a playoff game, only had a chance to be in the playoffs one time, yet he's continued to play great year after year. Um, he's not having the best season this year, but I mean, neither are the Jackets in general, obviously. So why would you want to keep playing for a team like this if management can't get a good team surrounding him? Who would want to keep playing for this hideous organization that we call a hockey team when you could go somewhere else, actually have a chance to win a cup and be a part of something. Another thing I respect about Rick Nash is in the press conference this morning, he was all honest. He openly admitted to asking for a trade, and I mean, I completely understand. But what he also said is that he would like to help out the Jackets with this trade as well as his career. He wants the Jackets to get great players from him just so they can rebuild the team for next year and get things going. But he'd also like to be a part of a winning franchise, and that makes complete sense to me. In summary, my opinion is I am completely with Rick Nash on this one. The team is just not performing, and he's continued to play well, so why stay there? Also, I would like to give Nash the opportunity to leave Columbus. He deserves to win. He's been playing hard his whole career in the NHL, and he's continued to perform great for us. But he's got nothing to show for it. He has no playoff wins, no Stanley Cup appearances, and anything like that. Overall, I just look forward to watching Nash wherever he goes. He is going to move in the offseason. I'm pretty confident in that. I look forward to seeing the offers that are coming up, and hopefully we can get something good for him in return. But I am going to watch him wherever. Hope he does well. And with a good team surrounding him, he's going to be unstoppable. Anyways, that's my opinion on the whole Rick Nash drama thing surrounding the trade deadline. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys later.